Hey, and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. This week I gave away three free decorative frames, vector decorative frames. And right here you can see all 15 that I made. And I'll leave a link in the um, video description of where you can pick these up if you're interested in these. So today I'm going to show you how I made them. So here's just a kind of an overview of all the different styles that I kind of used when I was making them. I've got some straight ones, I've got some really fancy curly ones, um, square ones, rectangle ones. Um, so I'm going to show you how I thought about what kind of shape I wanted it to have, how I wanted it to curve, and how I put these together to make them all symmetrical. So I started by creating a new document and I go File New in Illustrator. I'm working in CS6 but that really shouldn't matter. Um, I kept my orientation at landscape 11 by 8 and a half. I don't need a bleed on this and I'm working in CMYK since in my mind these would be used for print applications. So I just hit OK. And once I have this document, I need my ruler so I'm just going to hit Command R, Control R if you're on a PC. And I'm just going to drag a guideline um, like to the two inch mark and then to let's go one and a half. So Basically, I just need this one corner because in order to make everything symmetrical, we'll, we'll duplicate um, this either twice, well, we end up duplicating it like three times. The first shape we'll duplicate once, and then once that's joined together, we'll duplicate again. But all that'll make sense in just a minute. So basically, I just need this one corner to start from. And I'm using a Wacom tablet to do this. Uh, you could do it with a mouse, but it might uh, tick you off because <laughs> it can get kind of frustrating after a while. So I like using the Wacom. So I got my Wacom. I've got, um, I'm going to be using a brush. So I just hit B on my keyboard to select the brush tool. And up here you can see um, I'm using a five point round brush. And I'm, I'm just going to draw in the corner a really simple shape. So I'm going to start um, by making a curve coming up here. And then I kind of want three curves here. So that's, that's kind of basic. Sometimes um, it's nice to do a few passes to get one that you're really happy with. Like I don't really like how this is kind of angled right here, but I can fix all that. So once I have one, um, let's just work with this one. So once I have one that I'm, I feel pretty good about, um, I'm going to go back to my mouse and I'm going to actually adjust my points. So I'm just going to line this up on my grid. And the nice thing about the brush tool is that it simplifies the shape that you make. So I have a reduced number of points to start with, which makes it really nice. So I want, um, I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to take a few points away. Just using my pen tool. This is my direct select tool. And I just want this... Um, this to be a little straighter so that that helps this to be a little smoother up here um, and I need to fix this kind of entirely so there's definitely uh, a lot of tinkering that comes with doing this okay I'm not even gonna worry about this one but I am gonna add a point to the very top of this middle one so I'm just going to hit the plus key on my keyboard, and that's about the middle. So I'm just going to add a point, and that's it. So now I'm going to take my uh, direct select tool, which I have right here. I'm just going to delete this part, and I'm actually going to grab my um, delete anchor point tool, which is just my hyphen key on my keyboard. I'm going to get rid of this point. I'm going to get rid of this point, and that should be all I need. So now I'm going to take this whole shape. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard. I'm going to begin to drag and then I'm going to hold Shift. So now I have a duplicate and I'm going to right click, transform, reflect. I'm going to do a vertical reflection and then I'm just going to drag and hold Shift so I drag in a straight line. And sometimes it helps to go into outline mode for this. So I'm just going to hit Command Y or Control Y if you're on a PC and you can see a lot easier where, where your lines are lining up. So I'm just going to line it up until I hit that, that point right there. So now, um, actually I went a little past it. Hard to see this. Okay. So now once uh, these are lined up, I'm going to select both of these. And then I'm going to right click and click join. 
So now these are, now it's one path instead of two paths. So I'm just gonna exit outline mode. And you can see it's a little funky up here. So I'm just gonna fix that. Find where those points are. Take one, both away. At a point, pull it up a little bit. Okay, so now that I have this, now I'm just going to duplicate this whole path. So I'm going to hold all on my keyboard, drag, hold shift to keep it straight, and then I'm going to right click, transform, and this time we're going to reflect over a horizontal axis. Okay, so now you can see that these sides are starting to line up a little bit. And maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want it to look like that. Maybe I like that better. If you want more of a square shape, this would be a better solution. Or if you wanted them to kind of come together as a heart, you could do that too. Um, so there's a lot of options when you're bringing them together. I actually think I like the heart. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to select everything, hit join, and now this is one path. So now if I wanted to, I'm, I can hide my rules by going command colon or control colon on a PC um, so we can see it a little better. And if I wanted to add um, just extra decoration to it, I could grab my pen tool and just come in here and kind of do like an inner, inner line. Okay, and just to kind of replicate the, the same way, I can go into my stroke palette and I just um, make sure I do a rounded cap and a rounded corner and I can up this to five points and now I've got the same type of stroke from my brush. And actually this one's a little more curved than I want it to be. Okay, and I'm just gonna replicate this by holding Alt, dragging, holding Shift, and now transform and I'm gonna reflect over my vertical axis. Okay, so this is how I made those decorative frames. It's really fun to do a bunch of different curls and see what, what comes out once you start duplicating and putting it all together. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments area. Please subscribe if you like this tutorial. I do a new video tutorial almost every week and don't forget to check out the link with all 15 if you get a chance. Thanks.